you are welcome to this section of amazon kdp account creation and so today we are going to be creating our kdp account of lately you will notice that if you try using the old method you discover that you find it difficult amazon sending you the otp to your phone number so we are going to be using another method now we are going to be downloading applications and the first one we are going to be downloading is google authenticator google authenticator this is it here so this is the application i have it already installed in my phone so you have to download yours google or this is it here yeah? now the next one we are going to be downloading is what we call amazon shopping shopping app so i'm going to search this is the app here yeah? look at it, this one please your the image ought to look like this so this is the application and then we are going to be using any browser but i want to say this if your amazon kdp account have once been banned you are not allowed to use the same browser you used in creating the ban account what do i mean if you use your chrome browser to create your kdp account and you notice that that account got banned you should change it to either kiwi browser but if you're an iphone user you use your yandex browser so you just download this app called doc doc go this is it here so you can even use it to um create your account to be on a safer side so now we are going to head straight up to creating the account i will come over to my if you are using your laptop please you go to your chrome browser and then i'm going to click on new to amazon this is it here new to amazon.com and then i'm going to click on it so it's loading up. I'm going to pause the video until it's done loading. Alright, so this is it. I'm going to put in my first name. Please, your first name. Oh, I'm going to use... Uh, okay, let me use this. My first name and my last name. Mobile number or email address. Please use your email address. And then you're going to create a password they said minimum of six meaning that it's going to be six and above what do i mean if for example i'm using this this is um amarachi amarachi two four six eight you see minimum of six and above meaning that if you put less than six or just three password it's not going to work so i'm going to create this password off camera and then once i'm done i'm going to click on verify email look at it once i'm done putting in my password here i'm going to click on verify email all right so they sent an otp to this email address i'm going to check it right away so this is the email and this is the otp from amazon you can see it here 69 i'm going to copy it and then i'll come over here i will paste the otp and then i'm going to click on create your account this is it here. I'm going to click on it. So it's loading. And now we have created the account. What you're going to do is, you see this place? This place here. Look at this icon down here. This three icon below. Click on it. And then you're going to see here that shows account. You click on account. And then you come over to this place that shows login and security. Login and security. Under account setting, login and security, you're going to click on it. Now, those are the details I added here. And now we're going to click on two-step verification. You're going to turn it on. You click on turn on. And then look at what they said. They said you will enter your password as usual will send you a one-time otp blah 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 so i'm just going to show you the steps so what you're going to do you're going to click on get started you can see it's giving us two options here is either we we put in our phone number or we use authenticator app i already told you to download the authenticator app so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tick this one i'm going to tick this here i'm going to tick it the authenticator app is what we are going to use and now i'm going to copy up this text i'm going to copy this text 
I've copied it and then I'm going to take it to the authenticator app. This is it here. And then I'm going to click on this plus icon. Look at this plus icon. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on enter key. Enter a setup key. And then I'm going to paste it. So maybe I will do KDP and then I'll drop the key here. Paste. And then I'll click on add. You're not changing anything. So this is it here. I'm going to copy. Long press on it. For you to copy this code, you just long press on it. And then it has copied. Then I'm going to head back to my to this place. And then I'm going to paste it here and click on verify OTP and continue. You see, almost done. Now we are going to click on um you may surprise future you must surprise future OTP challenges by selecting don't require OTP on browser as long as now I'm going to I want it to turn on my two factor so I'm going to click on got it turn on two factor authentication and you can see that my two factor authentication is turned on right now. So what I'm going to do is you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my my browser. You can use your Chrome browser, your Yandex browser, whichever browser you're using. But as I said, do not use a browser that you used in creating an Amazon KDP account that got banned. I'm saying this for the sake of those that once had an account that got banned. So I'm going. So this is my browser, and I'm going to type kdp.amazon.com, and then I'm going to search. We are going to be working with this one here. Now you can see that I have my old account here, but I'm going to click on sign out. I want to sign out of my old account so that I can log in into this new account. So I'm going to click on sign in. I'll put in the password, the email address, and then I'll put in the password. This is it here already. And then I'm going to click on sign in. I already saved it to my Google and then it's going to send me a two-factor authentication. You see, so I'm going to click on this. By so doing, self, no one can steal your, or you see that someone got into your login details and all that. So I've clicked on it and then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to click on sign in. Now I'm going to agree to their terms and condition. Please ensure you read this. I already read it while I said KDP at first. So there's no need. I'm going to click on agree. So this is it and this is my account. Now you know you're going to be linking your dollar account there by there about. So what you're going to click on is for you to link in your dollar account. You're going to be clicking here. Let me zoom in and show you. If you look up here, you're going to see your account information is incomplete. Look at it. Your account information is incomplete. Look at it. So where I'm going to click on right now is update now so this is where you'll be adding in your dollar details and all that when you click on updates now you will see that it will give you a space for you to add in your details and all that so in the next video i'm going to be showing you how you can add up your login details that's your dollar account and all that but i want to say something if you're using payday you will notice that of lately payday no longer gives a us dollar account so you have to work with they are they no longer giving a dollar account see i already have a dollar account that was when i created this account but if you check of lately they know is, there is no silver gate there's no silver gate account so you have to work with the euro account see where i clicked on in case you're linking your payday account this is where you're going to click on this place and then you sweep you swipe it so either your euro account or your british pounds whichever one you click on more and then you click on view details so it will ask you to go through the steps but if i click on my euro account i will still click on more view details and then you fill in this in the next video i showed how you can do that my dollar account more view details you see like that all right so this is it about amazon kdp account creation i will see you in the next video